I, my starting point was to try and define the terms at the start and where it's sort of distant between thought leadership and research. And that's also come through some history as well. But I think of thought leadership as being the unbounded part, you know, make the distinction between research, which, you know, you can have a bounded expectation on the outcomes of thought leadership, which is unbounded in that expectation. And I think in terms of this touches on creativity, which is another whole space, maybe we explore it in the future, but actually there, there is originality isn't necessarily original, um, but it's more standing on the shoulders of giants. It's about the reimagination and recombination of things that are already there. And I think the real power, and why we'll start with that is also then, not only is this sort of group about the sort of unbounded, you know, people with unbounded thinking, but actually, I think the real power within the ATC is actually that we sit in many intersections. And I touched on that earlier, but it's the intersections that really give an amazing power to this particular group uh, within that. In regards to the purpose, um, and actually building off what other people have been saying, but I, I put it into three categories of voice, soul, and world. So actually, what it started this, and it started with the group and touched on earlier, is about having a voice but having a voice to do things actually means translating that unboundedness of the reimagination into action it's no good just having good ideas and even rethinking it is you've got to when if you want to make change you've got to put it in terms of where are the policy makers going to change what the regulations going to change it's not enough to point the flaws and again a strength in here is our focus on um, you know, having actionable change. And the gap in terms of having a voice is, you know, you can have great ideas, but if you can't communicate, if you can't create the narrative and then and the actionable outcomes, then having that thought leadership isn't going anywhere. So it comes to the voice as the first part. The second is the soul. And I think this goes to Louise's point is that to me, if actuaries are meant to be risk professionals about the future, it is bounded in uncertainty. Sorry, or unbounded in uncertainty. You've got to understand uncertainty. It is therefore a paradox to think you can do this without thought leadership. And you've got to embrace the sort of leadership, you've got to embrace that reimagination to actually do the roles. And I think where Louise is talking, and I think what then connects us is part of our voice and solution is talking about that soul in terms of the actual profession to do its job needs to embrace this thought leadership and uncertainty. And the third part that sort of kind of drives me is about the world. What we know and see is the multiple and catastrophic failures that are pot the potentiality of those that are out there because they're not being addressed and embraced. And that gives not only, you know, the, the need for our work would exist in the first two, the urgency and criticalness actually comes bounded in the sustainability and, and the various challenges. And I think not only of climate change and, and then to like not only of biodiversity, but actually systemically we're driving into failure. Um, and that, you know, we need to reimagine the whole structure in which to give it uh, resilience and purpose. And, you know, the great acceleration actually I think was probably my key jaw drop moment because Climate risk is just one of the boundary failures, and we are absorbing resources uh, at an exponential rate which is just unattainable. Uh, and I go to um, yeah, anyway, um, yeah, I, 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 I will carry on. Um, but then, just to bring it back in the interest of time, the ATC sits at that intersection intersection not only of um, systems thinking, of economics, of sustainability but that sits in the intersection of actually giving things a voice that actually address the problems of our soul and our world. Soul is the, is, is the heart of um, the actual profession, the need to embrace um, uncertainty when projecting risk into the future and understanding future variability needs, means that we need to embrace uncertainty and embed it into our skill sets this is when i talk about the soul of an actuary should be immer you know you know absolutely cut through like a stick of rock about future uncertainties 